at DNA, we have three wonderful libraries that have access to lots of different resources that you can use as a student. In the DNA libraries, we have a variety of study spaces that you can access, like this one. So this is one of our nice, quiet study spaces that you can come and study in. LDR supports students in many, many various ways. So it could be down to just showing a student how to log in for the very first time. It could be something more complicated like showing somebody how to use Teams and how to upload an assignment. Or it could be down to sitting with a student and going through an essay and looking at where they might be going wrong in formatting an essay, for example. Um, we could be showing them how to use Excel spreadsheets. We could just be issuing books because that's part of our role as well. So we work as part of the libraries. Um, we also work in the learning labs with different types of students. So it depends on the type of student that comes into the learning lab as what sort of technologies they will use. But we do 3D printing projects, we use coding, um, we use VR. Um, so there's all sorts of different ways that we can support students throughout the year. direct access from anywhere at any time of the day. Um, it's also access to our services and facilities and some of our other support mechanisms. So Students Association have their um, support pages attached to that. Student Services have some um, of their facilities attached to that as well. So it's a good place to start if there's anything that you need to know about college and you're just moving around. Okay, so Future Talent is basically a whole range of study skills that our department offers. So things like referencing, academic writing, digital skills, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, resilience, stress management. Um, usually they're booked through the individual lecturers, so the lecturer will ask us to go to their class and deliver a session to the students, whether it's in referencing or whatever. Um, but all our courses are also available online, so students can access them um, through the college website um, and work through the course themselves at their own pace. So if a, if a lecturer hasn't decided that they need it, but the student would think it's useful, then the material is all there for them to go and access and work through themselves. 